Hi, I'm Dr. David Morris. I'm the physical therapist here at the Tulalip Health Clinic. And today I want to talk about incentive spirometers and how they can be a useful part of maintaining healthy lungs. Ordinarily, the lungs work like an accordion. As the muscles around your chest cavity contract, they draw your lungs up and out, and air is pulled into them. There are certain areas of the lungs that are prone to fill with less air. And filling these areas with deep breaths is more difficult if you have a breathing disorder, a chest or upper back injury, or weak breathing muscles. This may be the case if you notice yourself taking frequent, shallow, and short breaths. When these areas of your lungs are not fully opened, this can lead to infections and less oxygen in your blood. People who will benefit most from this would be those who have low blood oxygen, weak lungs, chronic lung disorders like emphysema, chronic bronchitis, or asthma, or just poor conditioning. This is an incentive spirometer. These are designed to help all areas of the lung to stay open while breathing in by making sure you take long and deep breaths. The spirometer has a mouthpiece and two gauges. The left gauge shows how forcefully you breathe in. The right gauge shows the amount of air you're breathing in. On the right gauge, you'll find a marker set to 1500 milliliters. You'll want to slide that marker to match your best breath, always trying to do a little better with each breath. When using this barometer, sit upright and hold it level with no tilt. Breathe out gently, then set your lips around the mouthpiece and breathe in moderately fast and evenly. The ball in the left gauge will hover upward more depending on how forcefully you breathe in. A good breath will keep the ball in the middle of the gauge and get to at least 1500 milliliters. Hold your breath for a few moments, then breathe out slowly. Most healthy adults should easily be able to breathe in 2,500 milliliters. If you're adding this to your daily routine, aim to perform this exercise 10 times in a sitting, at least three times a day. You can think of doing it once before every meal. Some discomfort is to be expected as you work to strengthen your lungs. Be sure to always follow the instructions of your doctor or respiratory therapist. There are a few risks related with incentive spirometer use. We recommend stopping if you're feeling lightheaded. Individuals with emphysema should avoid vigorous use of the device. Additionally, if you have a collapsed lung, recent eye surgery, or an aneurysm in the chest, abdomen, or brain, you should consult your doctor first before use. After each use, clean the mouthpiece of your spirometer with warm water and soap. Don't reuse a disposable mouthpiece for more than 24 hours. It is important to remember that the use of this does not replace physical activity, but it works best in addition to a physically active lifestyle. It's been well known for a long time that exercise has an insane amount of benefits, including improved response to inflammation, improved mucus metabolism, improved lung strength, increased blood vessel growth surrounding muscles and lungs, better cell function with low oxygen, more efficient use of lungs and breathing. Especially in light of the COVID-19 pandemic, a healthy and active lifestyle cannot be downplayed. So let's keep on taking care of what we've been blessed with.